So came to this vehicle, this Ford and it's misfiring on cylinder five. But now what I'm going to do is I'm trying to set it up for us to know if it truly misfiring is from cylinder five. So what I'll do is uh, now I need to increase the voltage and take the so I've set it to AC so you can see the AC sign. I've set it to AC and you can do it on any scope and I've turn the wires black to uh, black to red and red to black and what I'll do now is on AC volt so I'll decrease my voltage to let's say um, so I'll change my voltage to let's say 5 millivolt okay so I think 5 millivolt will be okay for me 500 millivolts okay let me do it thousand millivolts and i'll change the time base a bit so now I'll let them crank the vehicle but first of all i have to bring the cursor down a bit because of this okay so now uh i'm coming on Cr crank it um. You can see the compression. So now I can put it's okay. So now I've paused it. So let me go to under the sun sh shade and check the compression. So now that I've gotten the reading, you can even see for yourself that it looks like one of the cylinders is dropping. So go to so what I'll do now is uh, let me change my time base. Yeah, the moment I change my time base, it keeps opening. So let me change my time base a bit. Then, after changing my time base, you can see this side. This side is slow. So when I count one, two, three, four, five, then six, then it starts again. So what I'll do is, it looks like one cylinder is slow. It's running out of compression. So that could be cylinder 5. Let me change my time base again. Yes, so let me shift it to the other side. Okay, so that I can get a clear view. And also I can change my voltage to, yes, to expand it a bit. Bring it up a bit so that I can get a clear picture. So with this one, I can go to measurement click on the measurement and range then i'll go to cases so that i can get a case on it press f1 to get a case on the on it then channel 2 voltage so with the channel 2 let me take the top so let me bring this one down to the button and go to b which is this one and bring it down a bit to oh, oh no 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 let me go to sorry let me go to measurement again and go to B then bring the B down yes to the two top towers then go to um, back and change it to time so let me change the voltage to time let me go to time then let me move the a so you can see a so now let me select a which is this one then let me count so let's count the top ones one two three four five six then one again so let's move oh so let's move the b rather so when moving the b i have to select this one so that it goes to the b and move the b then goes to, then I go to the next tower and you can see that even from this from this waveform you can see there is lost of compression in one so you can see that this I've lost compression at this point so one two three four five six then one again so at this point I've lost compression so that means this misfiring that the vehicle is facing is a mechanical issue which is not from the control board or anything. So you can see for my compression 10, 
for my compression test it's a mechanical issue so i'll speak to the shop then they will check it mechanically so i'm done with my diagnosis thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos check so when you check it with the voltage reading with the voltage cases you can see there is one cylinder which is slow so that means the misfiring that the system is reporting on cylinder 5 could be a mechanical issue because there is one cylinder which is slow